Hello, uh, I'm going to go through the uh, setup process and installation of Whirly Gig Free and also just go over the general features and also uh, talk a little bit about the actual differences between the free version and the paid for version. So let's get started. I'm going to go to the pay web page where you can download it. Um, this will change in time, but at the moment, this is where you can download it from. Uh, so, doo -doo -doo. so Whirly Gig Unseam, you can go there and pay, pay there. And Whirly Gig Installer, uh, that's the one I want to download. So I'm going to download that. Uh, while I'm downloading that, I'm actually going to download the lab codex as well because this will uh, this will also um, give you more options as well. Um, previous versions of uh, Whirly Gig required codex to be installed and then made preferred. This isn't the case recently. Now uh, I do have a lab codex installation here, but I'm going to show you the uh, demonstrate downloading it from its original, uh, the actual. Uh, people who make it so the direct installer so now that one's downloaded the lab codecs I can uh, run them and install them so these codecs are uh, open source and freeware uh, no, I'm not sure if they're freeware but they're, they're open source and they're pretty um, pretty stable pretty good to use uh, there's no malware or anything like that in there um, so just I tend to use all of the uh, all of the default settings and just hit install Um, I'm going to open up the uh, lav video as well, just because uh, I'd like to change one of the settings. Uh, one of the settings here, actually, this has already been changed, but normally it's set to none. I've got an NVIDIA card, so I change this to NVIDIA. Um, this is a this basically gives hardware decoding, so it'll increase the smoothness of a lot of your videos. Uh, if there are any that are struggling, uh, that will kind of smooth them out for you. Uh, it's very good when it actually works properly it actually works very well and you can play 4k uh, videos back uh, on a relatively low spec machine um, at full 30 frames a second so okay the um, the player is downloaded now so I'm going to open that and close these two pages down there we go um, so just general disclosure just to say software is, is as is um, so I agree to that go next uh, Whirly Gig doesn't install any other any other pieces of software uh, it only installs the uh, Whirly Gig player and um, and the files that are required to play the Whirly Gig player which is a standard Unity Unity app so there's no malware there's no uh, there's no extra installation or anything like that and when I open it up I'll actually go to the uh, um, installation location you can see where that is uh, so this is just installing those uh, the general files okay um, so now that's installed it's a little slow on my machine because of the um, uh, because of the uh, recording of this tutorial so uh, but now we've got to this stage uh, you can create a shortcut as per standard and then you can run Whirly Gig or open the uh, open the manual so if I uh, I'm going to untick the run Whirly Gig but I'm going to open the manual so the manual opens up in your standard standard uh, standard browser or whatever your PDFs are set to and it gives you an overview and the general information that you need within the manual. So, if there's any specific details you want to get more details on. In fact, some of the uh, some of this is actually old, which I need to update. But uh, it does give you an overview about it. But I'm going to give you pretty much all of that in this video. Uh, so now that's installed, I'm going to right click and make this pretty much comprehensive video. So I'm going to open the file location. So this is where the actual installations installed all those files. So there's a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version and your manual. Everything is installed into this folder, um, and you've got your own installer in there and README, which gives you the details. So close that down. I'm just going to run it now. Whirly Gig is compatible with both Vive and Oculus and should also be compatible with the OpenVR platform. Um, I say should be, uh, I have been informed that it is compatible and it does work. 
uh, but I don't actually have an open VR headset. I only have the Vive and the Oculus to test it on. Um, so if you have any problems, let me know. So as you can see, we've got uh, the standard setup. Um, I'm going to turn off. So I pressed F2 then. I'm going to turn, I'm going to disable mouse support, and I actually probably will do that in later later versions because mouse support within the free version isn't particularly uh, necessarily that useful. So as you can see, we've got the uh, standard open uh, open part. I'm going to make this bigger as well, just so you can see it a bit better. So we now I'm going to press R to reset as well because I just moved my headset. Um, so the way the free version works is unlike the paid for version, um, which has uh, a lot more UI sort of interaction. So uh, you've got hovering over within the UI. The free version is the basic standard interface. So you've got what you can see here, uh, and you can move around it and operate within it by using the hotkeys. Uh, which are available uh, on the keyboard, which uh, there's a put that down there, which you can see on the uh, on the keyboard options here, and using a joypad or the arrow keys on your on your desktop. So if I use the arrow keys, so I'm just using I've got a, I've got an Xbox gamepad here, so I'm just using the arrow keys to so go up and down like so, um, and that pretty much allows me to change these options. So I can go up to tilt and I can change them with left and right and scale also with left and right and distance with left and right and format I can go through the different formats so I can go to room, I can go to custom projection, I can go to fisheye I can go to barrel, I can go to cinema um, now you can see there that it says cinema OU so at the moment this is set to over under um, if you want to change the stereo options there are several ways in which to do this um, one of the ways in which to do it is actually on the keyboard with, the, uh, with the Y uh, uh, with Y on the keyboard. So if I press that, you can then cycle through the different stereo options. So if I cycle to there and then go through that way, as you can see, these are all now in mono and then press through. Uh, one of the uh, stronger elements of the actual uh, free version um, for navigation, if I go back to let me, let me go back to cinema. There we go. Uh, is the uh, is the actual gamepad options now? The gamepad options are accessible by pressing is it X. Yes, X. So these are the gamepad options. So these are all the mapped buttons within the gamepad. Uh, and as you can see, so if you've got a gamepad, this is probably the easiest way in which to navigate through the uh, free version. So if you've got a gamepad, you can map all of your options onto the gamepad uh, through this. Uh, at the moment, these are the default ones that come with the player. So you've got skip forward, skip backwards, um, the explorer, the uh, the gamepad, edit the gamepad, this, op this menu here. Um, but if you click on any of these drop downs, so for instance, if let's, let's say take loop video, if I click on that drop down, you, uh, I've got all these options. So I'm actually clicking here. I can click with the X button on the gamepad. If I go back. So at the moment, X button is select this one here. Is it X button? No, it's A button on the gamepad. So this one here is play, pause, and select. So at the moment, I can use that play, pause, and select on the on the actual gamepad uh, to change options like so. So if I do that and then slide down, down like that, that's a little awkward because I've actually got the headset on. Um, and then you've got all these different options that you can map to it. So one of the more powerful setting setups. Is the um, is the settings menu? So if I look in here, uh, settings. So if I put that one set looping to settings instead. Um, so and then if I click off here, so press X here. Now if I press the loopings button, it should bring up the settings menu. So the settings menu is a lot of the options that are, that are available um, in the. Steam version, but they're they're just within the settings menu. So, so as you can see, you've got all of these options here. So I can click on position. We go. Through. Actually, you can see here I've got the select play, disable mouse support. Uh, I can have my custom skip, which is in the uh, menus options as well. I've got background glow, loop, swap. I can change the track options here as well. I can change the stereo separation, some uh, super sampling. If I go to positions, you can move your move your screen around. Uh, adjustment. These are all the options within your adjustment. 
uh, as you can see there just sort of uh, you can change the stereo and everything you can also change the fisheye barrel and room um, you can sort of navigate through there you've got your video paths here so this is the direct show uh, VLC video uh, media foundation so you can change to any one of those uh, any one of those paths um, at the moment we've got VLC uh, video land selected but I can change that to direct show just tap on that and it's now on direct show open up the menu again uh, and we've got buttons uh, and these are buttons that actually uh, normally exist within the uh, with the Steam version. You can normally see these on the UI. I've just got a place within the actual settings folder so you can actually open them up. So these are actually accessible via hotkeys on the gamepad if you want to set them up. Um, but you can also you can also just select them here. So it's kind of a way in which to access all the different buttons. So for instance, one of the things that you can open up is backgrounds. So we change the background to that, and there you go. That's changed to that and then click off and then uh, that's within that environment um, I want to uh, open a video now so I'm going to go to Explorer now if I open the uh, gamepad options again you can see there and that what I did was push that button on the gamepad or as I mentioned earlier X on the keyboard um, you've got the Explorer there as well so that's where the Explorer is at the moment uh, and I can press that one and that will bring up the Explorer. So if you're not sure which buttons are which or if you've got ones that you want to map on there, you can open them up within here. So if I go back outside there, I hit that and now we've got the Explorer. Now the Explorer starts within the Programs folder because it starts in the actual location of the uh, image or video that you're actually currently using. So I'm going to point to that, press the button A, go up, oh, up to the uh, root, uh, go into Media, uh, go into videos. I mean, you'll navigate to wherever your videos are, uh, and then I'm going to click on any one of these at the moment within here. So uh, I'm going to click on one. That's loading now. I think currently my actual system is running a little slow. It feels a bit sluggish, but I think it's because I'm actually recording the tutorial. So. Hopefully it should be a bit faster in your system. I've actually got a minimum spec system for VR, uh, which I develop on. So I know that I'm at least getting it working on the lowest lowest uh, settings for people. So now we've got it playing. Uh, so we've got one playing. So um, I can go back to the joypad and I can move up and down. So I've got it set to cinema, but maybe I want to reduce the scale or move the distance further away, like so. And then within that if I just balance that a little bit so I haven't got the headset on so I can see the screen um, so uh, I'm going to press R on the keyboard also there's a button on the uh, gamepad for that and then all I need to do is press R so make sure I'm not hovering over anything although there's nothing to hover over but press uh, not R, press A to, uh, to anywhere on here as long as I'm not selecting something which you can't do here uh, and then the video plays and you can watch the video as you would normally watch uh, any any video but within VR so now that's playing and I can move through with the uh, with the keys left and right they push forward backwards and forwards by a minute um, which in this case is is a bit quick for a six minute video but you can also you can also use left and right and slide backwards and forwards and left and right now as you can see the actual menu here if I go down to that that allows me to slide forwards and backwards with it within that fault uh, within the actual uh, video so now I can do that I can play that I can also use left and right within it to zoom backwards and forwards as well uh, and that's pretty much how the uh, the player works um, uh, some of the other options, uh, let me see, we we'll press that again, we've got save and load. Save and load works simply by um, clicking one of these video locations and hitting save. So I'm using the A button here and then clicking off and then that's saved. So if I went to a different video, if we go take the uh, Explorer up again, that's not the Explorer, that's the Explorer. Uh, go to, uh, let me see, Reason is a different one. Um, and then that's Reason. So. I'll change that to, so I can change that by moving up, see up and down, go to, have it in a room like so, and then 
shift through. Uh, and then I'm going to press S on the keyboard, I can't remember what the save is, um, on the gamepad. Hit save. And then that's saved within that. And I can hit load, like so. And then that loads that. Um, there are lots of different options in there. Uh, and the website will soon be populated, if it's not already, uh, with a load of tutorials that relate to the Steam version. Um, but the options are very similar within the free version. So, for instance, how to set the backgrounds, uh, how to do the save and load, um, all little tutorials based around that. And you can actually view them, and they will relate to the free version as well. But the menus, just getting to those menus is just uh, just opening up the free, uh, opening up the location, uh, uh, wherever the hotkey is. Uh, something to note, the difference between the free version and the paid for version. Uh, just so if you're interested or you want to actually purchase it, which also helps me develop it uh, and also helps me add new features to both free and the uh, the Steam version. If I close this one down uh, and I go to, uh, I've got the Steam version over here, I've got it under a different name. Uh, so I open that one up. So this is just a quick demonstration of the, of the Steam version to show you the difference between the two. Um, as it as it uh, through Steam, you can see that it's connecting to Steam to make uh, to uh, like uh, any other Steam app would. So now that's opening up. You can see there. And there we go. So this is the uh, this is the Steam version. I'd make that a bit larger. You can see that there's a different menu there as well. Um, we've got a lot of these options just simply selectable on the bottom here, uh, which allows you to easily. So and also these are all selectable via the uh, the UI. The actual playback is the same engine, so you won't get better playback in the uh, Steam version or, uh, over the free version. I want this free version to be as uh, functioning as the uh, as the Steam version, but with a kind of a nicer UI on the Steam version. So as you can see, we've got all these options here, and there's a few other things that allow you to do in, this, in the uh, Steam version. So I can change the menus to different menus, like so, um, and we've got these options here. Like so. So if I if I want to have a different menu, I can change the menus, um, and I'm also going to be adding more menus to that. Um, another thing that's also available within the Steam version, if you've got a Vive, if I turn on the Vive controllers, I will have to put my headset on to demonstrate this a bit easier. So within the Vive controllers, you can see here we've got the actual. Uh, let me just reset position. Uh, you've got the two Vive controllers and they both have buttons on them. This is something that only exists within the Steam version. Um, it allows you to be able to operate it without need of a menu. So I could simply reduce this down to the simple menu. Um, and then I've got the ability to uh, just play, pause and rewind. I've got all these options just available on here. So I can just go through like that. And they're all available uh, on there. So uh, they've also got. I can bring the menus back up again. Um, so that's that's some of the uh, features that you get within the uh, within the Steam version over the free version. Uh, and the other thing as well is the Steam version gets updated more regularly than the free version. Uh, so you'll get features quicker if you decide to if you decide to purchase it. But I just thought I'd give you a little overview just to, just to demonstrate the difference. Um, Feel free to download the free version and use that. Um, and if you want to help me, uh, help me develop it and also want to get those extra features, uh, purchase it on Steam. And if you like the player, please uh, leave some good reviews on Steam. Uh, and uh, if there's things that you want changed, uh, contact me and uh, either through my website or through the discussions forum on Steam and, uh, and, and let me know. Uh, let me know what features you would like to see in the future. And, uh, and if you've got any bugs, which uh, what bugs I can try and fix as well. Uh, I hope you enjoy Whirly Gig, and, uh, and I, hope I, I hope to continue developing it for you. Thank you, and uh, see you around.